Good morning, grade 2 Joshua and grade 2 Moses. It's nice to see you again. I hope all of you are doing good. Are you ready for our lesson today? If your answer is yes, let's get started. But before that, let's acknowledge first Jesus. So, let's pray first. Put your hand together and follow me in our opening prayer. Lord, thank you for a new day. Please go before me and clear the way. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for loving me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, again kids, good morning and welcome to our reading subject. And today, we are going to learn about the realistic art and abstract art in our Unit 33. Are you ready to learn? Of course, always ready, right? So, let's start with our keywords. So, our first keyword is artist. Can you please repeat after me? Kindly say artist. Okay. The second one is the word divide. Divide. For the third keyword, we have the word separate. And for the fourth one, we have the word realistic art. So, let's repeat the first four words. We have artists, divide, separate, and real realistic art. So, we have another four, which is the abstract art, reality, landscape, and unusual. Okay, kids? So, in total, we have eight keywords for our passage for today. So, let's define each word one by one. Let's start with our first word, which is the word artist. So, kids, when we say artist, it is a person who produces paintings or drawings as a profession or hobby. Okay, one more time, I will repeat. When we say artist, it is a person who produces paintings or drawings as a profession or hobby. Artists are also known as the painters, sculptors, or craftsmen. Okay? So, let's proceed to our second word, which is the word divide. So, when we say divide kids, it means to separate something into two or more parts. Again, I repeat, when we say divide kids, it means to separate something into two or more parts. It is also means that we are going to detach it or segregate it from the groups or part it is belong. Okay, that is what divide means. Now, let's proceed to the third word, which is the word separate. Can you please repeat what is the meaning of the word separate? It is the, it is the different or divide or to split. Okay, I repeat, separate means to break apart or to, or to divide. Okay, that is what separate means. Now, let's proceed to the next keyword. We have the word realistic art. So when we say realistic art kids, it shows objects at, as they look in reality. So this art looks really real or they are really existing in real life. Okay, next one, let's have the word abstract art. So when we say abstract art kids, it shows objects but it is different from how they look in reality, okay? So, again, I repeat, kids, abstract art shows object, but it is different from how they look in reality, okay? So, what is reality means? So, when we say reality, it is the state or quality of having existence or substance, so, when we say reality, kids, we are referring to anything that is existing. 
These are the events that has actually happened in real life. Okay, that is what reality means. Now, let's have the next word, landscape. Okay, the next word is landscape. So, landscape is all the visible features of an area or countryside or land, often considered in terms of their aesthetic appeal, okay? Most of the artists are using landscape, especially when their art is all about land or countryside. Next one, we have the word unusual. We have the word unusual. So when we say unusual kids, it is different from what is usual or ordinary. These are the rare things that we can find. These are very unique, okay? So when we say unusual, these are the unique things or the, uh, it is for different from what is us usual or ordinary. They are extraordinary. So, those are our eight keywords for our passage for today. So now, let's listen together to our, to our passage. And of course, because we already studied the keywords, I hope that you can easily understand what is the passage all about. Okay, so let, let's listen together. Unit 33, Realistic Art and Abstract Art. Artists paint many kinds of pictures, but we can divide all art into two separate groups, realistic art and abstract art. Realistic art shows objects as they look in reality. In realistic art, the landscape would look exactly like it does in reality. So the trees, mountains, and rivers would look real. Rembrandt, a Dutch artist, was a famous realistic artist. Abstract art shows objects different from how they look in reality. Abstract paintings create images in new and unusual ways. For example, abstract landscapes would not look exactly as they do in reality. The trees might be green balls. The mountains might be brown triangles, and the rivers might be blue lines. They would not look like real trees, mountains, and rivers at all. Picasso, a Spanish artist, was a famous abstract artist. Okay, so that is our passage all about. It's all about realistic art and abstract art. So, let's discuss more about our passage for today. So, we can divide all arts into two separate groups, the realistic art and the abstract art. So, let's discuss first what are the realistic art. So, realistic art shows objects as they look in reality. I repeat, Realistic art shows objects as they look in reality. In realistic art, the landscape would look exactly like it does in reality. Like the trees, mountains, rivers, they would look real. These are the examples of realistic arts. So this is the scenery. As you can see, everything that we can see in this art look very real the trees the mountain and the river so that is one of the example of the realistic art next one let's discuss about rembrandt so rembrandt van rinch this is or he is a famous dutch artist and he is a realistic artist okay most of his work are belong to re realistic art category. Again, I repeat, this is Rembrandt van Rinch, okay? He is a famous Dutch artist and he is a realistic artist. Most of his work are belong to realistic art category. So these are some of the work of Rembrandt. The Night Watch, he drew it or he made it on the year 1642. 
Also, Man in the Oriental Costume in 1632. And those are the two famous that Rembrandt made, okay? So now, let's proceed to abstract art. So, as you can see in our picture here, abstract art shows objects different from how they look in reality. Abstract paintings create images in new and unusual ways or unique ways. For example, abstract landscape would not look exactly as they do in reality. So, if you are not into abstract art, you cannot distinguish easily what is the art all about, okay? For example, the green balls represent as trees in abstract paintings. But if you are not an ab abstract artist and you saw a green ball, you will think that this is only a plain figures, right? But in the eyes of the uh, in the eyes of the abstract artist, this green ball represent a tree. Okay, next one, the brown triangles represent the mountains in abstract art, and the blue lines represent the rivers. They would not look like real trees, mountains, and rivers at all. But still, these are some of the things that the abstract artists using in their paintings. And Picasso is a famous pub, uh, Picasso is a famous abstract artist, and he is a Spanish artist. Okay, I repeat, this is Pablo Picasso, a famous abstract artist, and he is a Spanish artist. So these are some of the famous hmm, these are some of the famous work of Picasso. The painter and model in 1928. So painter and model could be interpreted as a point black refutation of the Matician principle of attempting to record a visual impression. Okay? So as you can see, kids, it is different from the reality. The next one is the accordionist. Again, I repeat, the accordionist. In 1911, this painting depicted a man who is playing an accordion as indicated by the title. Okay? So, that is all about our passage for today. About the realistic art and the abstract art. So, now are you ready to answer your book? So let's answer your book, kids. Kindly follow instruction and circle the letter of the correct answer. Remember, kids, you need to circle, okay? You will not underline the letter. You are going to circle. So the first question is, what is the main idea of the passage? I repeat, what is the main idea of the passage? A. All artist is either realistic or abstract. Again, A. All art is either realistic or abstract. B. Rembrandt and Picasso were two famous painters. Rembrandt and Picasso were two famous painters. Or letter C. Abstract art shows objects different from their real appearance. So, what is your answer, kids? So, if your answer is letter A, is correct, okay? All art is either belong to realistic or abstract art. Number two, art can be divided into realistic or blank art. Art can be divided into realistic or blank art. Is it A, abstract, B, landscape, or C, triangle? So, if your answer is letter A, your answer is correct. Number three, what might a mountain look like in abstract art? Again, I repeat, what might a mountain look like in ab abstract art? A, a blue line. B, a green ball. Or letter C, a brown triangle. If your answer is letter C, brown triangle, 
your answer is correct. So now, let's answer the following question. How would a landscape look in realistic art? Again, I repeat, how would a landscape look in realistic art? So remember kids, realistic art. So what is that? So of course, it would look like it does in reality, okay? Next question, who was a famous realistic painter? Who was a famous realistic painter? So it, he is a Dutch artist. Who is he? He is Rembrandt, okay? And for letter C, what kind of artist was Picasso? What kind of artist was Picasso? So Picasso, he was an abstract artist. Very good. So now, let's answer this. Kinds of art. Let's proceed first to the first one, which is the realistic art. So it shows objects as they look in reality okay trees mountains and rivers in landscape they are look real and who is the famous real realistic artist he is rembrandt okay so now let's proceed to the abstract art so in abstract art kids shows it shows objects different from how they look in reality blank green balls so what green balls represent it represents the trees, very good. While brown triangles represent mountains and blue lines represent rivers. Now, who is the famous abstract artist? Okay, the famous abstract artist is Picasso. Okay, very good. So now let's do this one. So we have the choices divide, unusual, abstract art, and separate. Okay, the first one, different to divide or to split. What does that mean? So this one means to separate, okay? Next one, it means to separate something into two or more parts. You are going to separate into two or more parts. So that means divide. Next one, it is different from what usual or ordinary or just like what I've told you a while ago these are unique it is called unusual okay and for the last one this art shows objects in a new and unusual way we called it as abstract art so that is our lesson for today kids Kindly answer your reading book on page 93 and don't forget to answer also your workbook on page 35. Okay kids, so I hope that you learned a lot in our lesson for today about the realistic and abstract art. So see you again next time kids. Goodbye!